Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Around a month ago, I made a video and I said, if you send me your sketches, your works, I'm gonna review them. I got around 130 emails, so it was not easy to go through all of them. And honestly, I didn't go through all of them yet, but it's been a month. So I decided to make the video because I wanna do it like monthly basis. So I picked three of you and I'm gonna give you my comments. First of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone who submitted their design, their work, their sketches, because it really takes courage. I mean, what you did is really brave. And also it shows that you are really taking this step. You are just sending your work to get feedback it's it's really important in my opinion so always be open like that always try to get as much as you can from everyone and always be open for the feedbacks another thing i want to tell you is when you get a feedback you need to filter it in your own brain in your own approach because you cannot make everyone happy or satisfied so when you get a feedback you need to think if it really works for you if it's what you want if it's your approach so here also today whatever i say it's my own opinion so in design that's the beauty of design there is no right or wrong directly of course there are right and wrong on perspective or this kind of things technical part of the design let's say but about the taste about the vision nobody can tell you it's right or wrong because nobody knows the future yet so whatever i say today is just my opinion we are just having chat i'm just taking a look at works so enjoy it all right the first sketches that you see here right now is from suhail suhail nazar 18 years old from india suhail says i have completed my higher secondary education and now looking for bachelor's in transportation design and he sent me two sketches and i picked this one to talk about and and quickly let's take a look at them all right the first thing as i see it's a lexus micro car it's very clear i'm gonna lower the opacity of your sketch and let's talk about them First of all, it's really good that you sketch the car from three different angles. Like we can see the side view, we can see three quarter rear and three quarter front. It's very good practice that you try to the same design from different angles. I think it's very important. You didn't just sketch a side view and leave it. It's also fine to search for ideas, but I like that you are aware that sometimes you need to try to put the same design from different angles. I'm gonna start from the side view because it's generally the most important view that we can directly understand proportions of the car. And as it's a micro car, when I see your sketch i have a couple of points that i want to mention first of all the wheelbase which is one of the most important things on side view sketches in your case we have like one wheel here one more heel and after one and a half wheels we are going to the rear one already generally it's better to put around three wheels like i can imagine this car is around the size of dimensions of the smart so if you just put a smart here you can see that it has like one almost three seems a little bit shorter than three but at least it's two and a half so we would be here if it was a smart proportions so anyway let's just go back quickly here so first thing i want to do is increasing the wheelbase i'm gonna pick this sketch to something like this maybe so as you see we stretch the car a little bit and after that i want to make the wheels round again and i want to move this a little bit forward the front wheel a little bit forward to decrease this overhang because in this micro car we don't need that much overhang and for a better packaging we can put the wheel a little bit forward and the rear one we can keep around here i'm gonna put the ground line it's good that you put some kind of like a roundish uh, shadow underneath the car but rather than round maybe you can pick it flat so we're still having the volume under it to have the shadow so something like that another thing i like about your sketch is when you put the rims you give them the depth and you took care of the perspective. So your rims are going to the center of the wheel, which many people can forget. All right, so this is, let's say the new wheelbase. And then for the silhouette of the car here, I see this peak point. To me, it's a little bit too sharp. Rather than this, I would like to, I mean, I, I, I respect your design. So I will try to keep your design as much as I can. Like this roof line can stay here. Here, just a little bit softer would be better in my opinion. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger radius here. Then we have the hood here. And the bumper area goes like that and you have an air intake and the lights so because of we moved the wheel it's better to move also the wheel arch these muscles you put on your design we can also move them somewhere like this and on the rear i'm gonna lower down this bumper area so i'm gonna move it something like this and we can keep the rest as it is just about air intakes when you put air intakes on an urban car on a micro car you need to think why do you need them like if this air cooler air intake is for cooling the brakes and then if this is for the air outlet like a sports car is like high performance car you need to think do you really need it or not it's another topic so we can move it a little bit forward as it's on your design so i think it's enough for this side view let's see what are the changes so this was your proportions your silhouette and with the new one 
it's sitting better on the ground and I realized that my rear wheel is maybe a little bit smaller or yeah it should be but anyway you know it's not a precise sketch I'm just trying to give you the general feeling that I'm thinking about it so this would be my changes on the proportions if you look at the front I also would like to say it's good you take care of perspective and I really like that you are putting these volumes on your sketch like you put this shading to show the surface direction and it gives really nice feeling about the volume so I can see that there's the hood coming this way and then going down here so I can see that it's not like a flat car you have all these volumes I think it's a very good exercise the only thing I would say again first of all about the proportions I would move this front wheel here and then the rear wheel also a little bit backwards not so much but this already gives enough space for us to have better stance on the floor on the ground and then you keep your same design which is which is good like here on this peak it's less wild less ex exaggerated than your side view I think this peak point this roof line is better than the side view here so we can just put it and I think you, you can add a little bit more volume something like that And when you are designing, when you are sketching, if you get lost in the perspective rules, it might create like a very old school corners. Like if you think like, okay, here will be this side of the car and this is front of the car, this is side of the car, then you immediately create this corners kind of old school stuff. Rather than this while designing, I would suggest you by practicing, like you will get used to this perspective better. And when you're designing, you don't need to draw these corners. You can directly focus on the design here. I like that you put this Lexus graphics as you're designing a Lexus. And you can put a little bit of thickness for the wheels. And again, just this basic proportions can add a better stance already. And again, you put like nice graphics on the front for Lexus, but the car is not only about this front graphics. I mean, this is Lexus, okay, but what about the rest of the car? Did you take care of it? Like this hood for example just a flat plane like i said you are putting these volumes which is good but also while designing just take care about it if it's a if you did it by purpose if you if you wanted to have like just a flat plane here then it's okay but you can have maybe more continuous graphics going on you can extend these graphics to connect to the a pillar somehow you can create different relations between different parts of the car for example on the rear i think you have better proportions a better wheelbase it already feels better here this time at least two wheels are in between rather than one and a half it already changed a lot as you see like if it was this proportions or the side view proportions your front wheel would be here and it would create really weird weak proportions so you handled it better i think on the rear view and again about the graphics you did good job you put the volumes which is nice the only thing is when you put the center line here it should be on the center which means here this line is super longer than this one here so maybe you need to extend it a little bit like that so the graphics would be a little bit different and about the design again like rather than using super flat long surfaces maybe you can sometimes add some more dynamism some more graphics or breaking points for example this spoiler area can be more dynamic you can add i don't know somehow even if it's a graphic or a light you can add some movement there or on the top of it you don't have to make it totally continuous flat you can maybe make it a little bit going inside here going outside again just to push your design always I'm not saying that minimal design is bad, but minimal design and boring design are not the same thing. It, it, they don't have to be the same thing. So you can still keep it minimal, but adding a little bit of touch would change it. So when you're sketching a car, when you're designing a car, always push your ideas. If you focus only on this idea and if you don't want to care about the rest, it's fine. But then you need to make your sketch like thicker on this area. You can keep them like this. But the rest of the sketch maybe you shouldn't put that much thick lines because everywhere i see you emphasize the sketch you took the same attention on everywhere on this car if you want to focus only on this area you can make it more contrast thicker lines like this and then it can fade out 
when we are going away from this area so that's all i can say about your sketches quickly so i'll thank you very much for sending them again you definitely have a good control on your pencil and just keep on going and i would really like to see your improvement so some time to time please send me your sketches on instagram i would like to follow up how it's going and good luck and all the best the second submission we will look at is parker parker is 16 years old and from united states he's currently enrolled at a tech school majoring in technical drafting and design and he's also obsessed with cars and their designs he sent me several sketches of exterior design and also interior design it's really cool to see and i just picked one of them to give a quick review here this is the station wagon which reminds me kind of like a kia design actually i don't know the brand honestly maybe it's like no brand car so let's directly dive into it on the paper you can just uh, flip the paper and put it on the light so you can see from the behind and if you want to do it on the photoshop it would be something like this you can already see some mistakes on perspective and proportions when you just flip the image. So first of all, I immediately see that you are trying to make it perfect. You are trying to make the right proportions, right perspective, and you don't want to make mistakes. I can see that because I see your lines are a little bit shy and you are a little bit shaky. What I mean by shaky is like, maybe shaky is not the right word, but it's not continuous. Like rather than trying to make long line like this, you are trying to make small lines and make them perfect but it creates this shy effect in my opinion. It's not confident lines, but I can see your passion and why you are trying to do this. But first suggestion would be just try to relax a little bit more. Try to not think about how will it end up. Try to find ideas, try to push yourself in this direction. Of course, perspective and proportions are super important. And that's why I created my Car Design 101 course. If you wanna take a look, the link in the description. But anyway, I would like to tell you that just relax your hands, sketch from the shoulder. Rather than using just the fingers, just use your arm, use it from the shoulder or from the elbow. So try to be a little bit more free and relax. And also psychologically, it's very important to just set yourself free and try to have fun while sketching. All right, after that, I would like to talk about the perspective. If I draw perspective lines here, these lines, when they are going further from the car, they should get closer to each other all of them but instead in your sketch the top one is going further so this should be opposite the other two can be acceptable they are more or less parallel you can also make another parallel here or i'm not sure maybe it's actually maybe my mistake i'm not totally sure where it would go but i definitely feel it should be a little bit more flat or down like this but i would say your proportions are well like between these two wheels you have enough space enough wheelbase the height of the car is very cool and the width of the car so i would say the proportions are there and some design elements are also there but also on design i will tell you to push a bit further but before that let's focus on perspective first when i draw this perspective lines for the wheels very important trick is when you first draw this one you need to draw a perpendicular one to this 90 degrees and when this is the minor axis, this one will be the major one. I think first I saw this on Scott Robertson's tutorials and his how to draw book, his legend probably, you know Scott Robertson. But if you want to go deeper on ellipses, on perspective, and if, if you want to really learn the reasons behind it, definitely go check out Scott Robertson. So we need to rotate your wheels a little bit this direction. This one is better, but the rear one was a little bit off. If you, if you see, it was like going out a little bit. So the rest seems fine, but here I see some very sharp corners, for example. Rather than this, when you edit this wheel arch, you can make it like going a little bit under the car. So the surface would go a little bit through the bottom of the car. In that case, you would have not a sharp corner here, but a little bit more rounded. Let's say same thing would be here. And it's good you experimented what's going on here you took this diffuser area and duplicated it several times but when you think again like like on the previous review is this car a performance car or is a station wagon more like a family car more like when i see the rest of design language it seems a little bit more calm but here i see super like a performance thing going on and it gives the effect of tuned car like the car was not designed for this but the owner decided to just add some more elements to make it a bit more crowded. So I would say it should be a bit more balanced. Like you can try to focus on more elegant design in my opinion here. You can make like, I don't know, more calm exhaust pipe. And rather than all these elements here, if you really want to put diffuser, maybe you can put, I don't know, one or two 
more calm design here. I think it would it would fit better the rest of the car. So the other thing is I like what you did here. This line comes until here, goes and continues with the back of the car. It's a really cool trick. And then you are creating different graphics here. I really like that. On this glass area, you wouldn't see this you wouldn't see this negative curve. It would be more positive because when the glass goes inside of the door, it should rotate like a barrel. So actually this greenhouse glass more like a barrel rather than the negative curve here so we can fix that simply here and then it would continue to the roof with the same perspective lines we would we would add a little bit more volume here maybe and you can always put the center line like on the previous review because it would help you to understand the symmetry of the car so we would put your logo here and another thing comes to my mind is when you're adding these design elements rather than making super sharp elements like just to have a light here you can really when you are relaxed, when your hand is more relaxed, you can create different, more interesting designs. Maybe you can combine this rear light somehow with this strong graphic element here. Maybe it can come from here or... I don't want to act like I'm designing here, but... And it became immediately a Volvo rather than the Kia that I thought at the beginning. But my point is, rather than putting elements super sharp and not related to each other, you can always try to find a combination, a relationship between different elements in the same car. Like I said on the previous review, you put everywhere the same thickness of the lines and the same kind of shading. So rather than this, you would just focus on one part of the car, like the most important part or whatever you want your viewers to see on the sketch. And in that case, if you are sketching the rear of the car, probably it should be somewhere around here. You can focus more here. You can make the lines thicker. And when we are going away from this, it can fade a little bit. So it will add more contrast and more depth to your sketch. And thank you for submitting your design, Parker. It's really nice to see. And as I said, I would like to see the process. So some time to time, please send me your sketches and I would like to see the improvement. All right, the third review of the day is Joel. Joel is 16 from UK and he was inspired by McLaren F1 cars and the Tron movie. He says he tried to make a futuristic car that he would love to drive, especially at the night time. So let's take a look. All right, here is the car. And the first impression is I'm really impressed by it because you really focus on creativity. You really try to push the limits. You just did something different than what you see on the street. And you are still able to keep some design elements from McLaren, as you said in your brief, let's say. And you also have ideas like active spoiler here. I can see some aerodynamic wheels going on. I see that you have some ideas and you put them on the sketch. So for 16 years old and putting this creativity on the top of your priority of sketching, it's, it's really impressive. I really like it. And if you need to criticize it, I can just first flip the image again, like we did on the previous one. And we can already see that the front of the car is kind of like a squashed, like a scaled down unproportionally. The wheelbase, I would say nice, but overall perspective, we have some mistakes that we can try to fix quickly. So I'm going to just make it a bit smaller, first of all. So this was your original one and I just first things I just changed I just stretched a little bit the width of the car and I'm gonna just fix the wheels also like we did on the previous one if we have the perspective lines going this direction the wheel is a little bit too maybe rotated I would say maybe something more like this and also on the rear one we can move it a little bit like that I really like that you put for example the McLaren graphics on the front the McLaren face let's say but when I look at the other parts of the car it's getting a little bit chaotic as I said it's great you try different things but when we have this organic lines this this radius is like there is nothing sharp going on here everything is like smooth like nice organic shapes but when we look at here it's like a Lamborghini came here and you just stick the Lamborghini here that's uh, we don't want this kind of contradictions in the design so if it's like an organic there we would prefer having a little bit more organic, a bit softer things going on on the back as well, also on the rest of the car. These pointy parts are a little bit uh, confusing to me for my personal taste. You would make it a little bit more like a wing maybe, if this is an aerodynamic feature here, like you did here on the rear actually, because this pointy thing itself is a little bit awkward and it doesn't talk the same language again. And if you look at this front area now, on the perspective line, for example, if this is our perspective line, you can also pull this one here and it shows us that your light should move a little bit up. So your light should go maybe more like this. Like that one also would be here. So we have the turning area there. 
and it's always better to put the center line again if this is the center line for example because of the logo I put it here all the other things can be aligned with the center line like if it's going like that going inside and then outside again this way I see your design you have some like that so we can also put them in a better perspective and here also all these elements we can move them a little bit more in the middle but again I really like the things you did here like the surface going up here and then going down here and you did the same here actually because of course it's not visible from this angle but I can see that you thought about it you thought about the sections which is really cool and you also thought about this like 270 degree view active elements active spoilers and this kind of things it's I think really cool you thought about them already so let's flip them again so as you see like small changes on your perspectives small changes on the symmetrical elements like before and after it already adds a little bit more confidence to your sketch it gives your message in a better way because the reason we sketch as designers is for communicating with each other or communicating with other people to show our ideas in the best possible way so i see that you have a cool idea like the rear wheels are open there's active spoilers like a very sporty kind of sci-fi type of car like as you said it's kind of a mixture of Tron and McLaren F1 and you have really cool ideas really nice creativity but to show it in a better way of course you need to improve these other skills like perspectives and this kind of things so that you can give this idea in a better way to other people that's the whole goal don't forget the sketching uh, the sketch itself is not the goal the sketch is a tool to send your message to other people many people think that the sketch is the goal so they focus too much on the sketch rules and the ideas are getting really not so creative it becomes like today's ideas but what i really love about your submission is really you have this creative idea all you need to do is just learning the tools in a better way and i think it's easier like it's easier to learn how to sketch than learn how to create some futuristic ideas creative ideas so it's it's really cool i really like it and as i said on the previous two reviews that when you sketch something you need to it's better to focus on one part on the sketch or on each sketch like it's better to try to show one message at a time like if you try to show the greenhouse is 270 degrees the active spoiler is there the rear rear i mean i can see everything at once so everything is in the same priority level so you made everything in the same kind of shading same kind of contrast but again as we said like if you are sketching the front perspective of the car it's better to focus on that area so you can see better the front area with a more contrast you can show this idea and when you rotate the car like on the first review as Suhail did like if you put the car from also the rear and also from the side you can show these different ideas from different views it would make it a stronger message each time so today we looked at these three very cool submissions each of them have kind of like a different weak points and different strong points that's why I picked them but again as I said I couldn't go through all of the emails yet but I will definitely do my best I will try to keep this thing as a monthly review and if you just take a look quickly again on the first one we had cool perspective cool design nice lines definitely very good volume showing the volumes and design but the proportions were a bit off and on the design you can push a little bit further I would say on the second one this time we had the proportions correct perspective is a little bit off and design again I would like to put push it a little bit further and a little bit set yourself free a bit more relaxed lines a little bit more enjoying the process of sketching and on the third one as I said the ideation is really cool the creativity is super nice but the perspective is a little bit off and trying to put all the messages all the ideas in one sketch is a little bit too much so you can do more than one sketch and show different parts of the car in a different way so Heil, Parker and Joel thank you very much for sending your works and let me review them it was fun for me I really like to see different weak points and combining them in a video to show you guys my opinion on them also all the other people like 130 emails I will take a look at all of them I will try to do my best to give feedback to all of you but it will take a little bit time you've been asking me like hey when will you do this review video like finally at least the first one is here it's good and hopefully we will continue and if you want to submit your designs please don't forget to write me your name your age and your country and a little bit of description about yourself please and send it to bergmydesign at gmail.com if you already sent it before don't repeat it don't send the same things again because as i said they are not missing i will take a look all of them so sending it several times will not make it better and again i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something also write down your review on these sketches it would be nice to see also from your point of view so just share your ideas and please don't forget to just hit this like button and subscribe me if you are new on this channel and i hope to see you on the next video
Well, honestly, it's not like hundreds or thousands of emails. It's just 130 emails, but just trying to make my best to like take a look all of them, you know, it's I don't want to just rush through and make repeating myself for each review. I just I just try to take a look. I'm reading all your messages. It's, it's really nice, by the way. Thank you really for sending me them. There are some emails that you guys forgot to write your name or your age or your country or just let me know. I mean, it's it's important. I'm trying to add variety on this feedback. Like I'm trying to pick different kind of levels and different kind of countries, different kind of everything. So that's why I want to know. So don't be shy. Tell me about yourself. Let's meet. I mean, why not? You, you don't want to talk with me? And the other thing actually I was thinking to make all these emails like 130 reviews in one video like quickly saying something to everyone giving a small feedback to everyone i thought like it would be maybe three hours of video but at once all done but i couldn't make it i mean maybe it's better to go a bit deeper for each and every of you it's i think more informative rather than making it like a fun video like quickly saying things i wanted to make it more informative more educative for all of you so thanks for watching and send me your stuff come on Let's, let's have fun.